Hello families, welcome again. In today's discussion, I will talk about meiosis. Meiosis, also known as fly strike, is a parasite infestation of the body of a live animal, including human being, by a fly larvae or maggots that go inside the host while feeding on its tissue. As I've said, meiosis is infestation of maggot in human tissue, and this occurs in tropical and subtropical area mainly. Also, fleas are most commonly attracted to open wounds and the urine or fecus soaked fur. Some species can create an infestation even on unbroken skin. Elderly people who are bed bound have physical disability or lack self care ability. They are more vulnerable to invasion of their body parts which are not protected by skin, such as wounds and the mucous membrane. When we see the causative agent, many types of Fleas can cause meiosis in humans or animals, but Dermatovia hominis is the primary human boat fly. When we see the life cycle of the most common fleas that causes meiosis in human being or Dermatovia hominis, those are free living fleas, adult capture blade sucking arthropods such as mosquitoes and they lay egg on their bodies using a glue like substance for adherence. Then boat fly larvae develop within the eggs but remain on the vector until it takes a blood meal from a mammalian or ovarian host, and newly emerged both fly larvae then penetrate the host tissue. Then the larvae fade in subdermal cavity. Then after a few weeks, breathing through a hole in the host skin, mature larvae develop to the ground and pupate in the environment. Larvae tend to leave their host during the nights and the early morning, probably to avoid desiccation. After approximately one month, the adult emerge. And they meet and repeat the cycle. When we see the clinical features, penetration of the host tissue and the feeding activity of larvae might cause serious tissue damage, often accompanied by putrid smelling, discharge, and ulceration, which results in loss of organ function, injury to the skin, or secondary bacterial invasion, and disease. How meiosis affects the human body depends on where the larvae are located. Larvae might infect dead necrotic or living tissue in various sites such as skin, eyes, ears, stomach and intestinal tract or in genital urinary sites. So there are cutaneous meiosis, nasal meiosis, oral meiosis and ophthalmomyosis based on the location of where the meiosis appears. When we came to the treatment, the larvae need to be removed and typically the wound is cleaned daily after the larvae are removed. Proper hygiene of wound is very important in the taking care of the meiosis. For all types of meiosis, antiparasitic medications such as ivermectin to kill the fly larvae are commonly used. The dose of ivermectin which is systemic or olari, 200 microgram per kg, either once or daily for three days based on the, extent, the, extent, the severity of the infection, or topical ivermectin can also be used. When we see the prevention of meiosis, the first thing is to maintain good personal hygiene, buzzing daily and keep skin clean, and maintain good oral hygiene. And the other is also proper wound management. All wounds should be treated promptly and addressed properly, and wash hands before and after touching the wounds, and the wounds should be assessed regularly. And the dressing should be also kept clean and dry. Seek medical attention if there is suspected wound infection and a delayed wound healing. The other is maintaining good environmental hygiene, such as keep premises clean, store food in the refrigerator, or cover the food with screen, and the dead bodies of animals should be disposed properly. The other thing is fly proofing measures, install screening, insect electro coating device or trap, and the keep of pets is important. All wounds on animals should be treated properly and uh, promptly. Animals with suspected meiosis should be brought to the attention of veterinarians. Thank you for watching.